New tonight, eye-opening new video, something we've never seen until now. A look inside the interrogation room as Sherry Papini breaks down during questioning. Just yesterday, a judge sentenced Papini to 18 months in prison for the kidnapping hoax that captured the attention of the country. CBS 13, Steve Large is in the newsroom tonight with more on this new video. Steve. Yeah, this is a new behind the scenes look into this investigation. You see Papini in this small room with two investigators and her husband is at her side as well. And here is the moment investigators tell her they know she was not kidnapped and that she was actually with an ex-boyfriend the whole time. It's not an abduction. She asked me to come get her. No. I rented a car. No. I drove up and picked her up. He, he passed the polygraph test, Sherry. If that's not what happened, what did happen, Sherry? I don't know. No, there's no way it's James. There's no way. There's no way. The DNA doesn't lie. When did it turn into something more? Obviously, you never would have imagined that CNN in 2020 and Good Morning America would care about you wanting to leave Keith or wanting to teach him a lesson no, or wanting to no, get him in line. No, I was just talking to Jesus and you don't want to leave my husband. So obviously hard to make out a lot of what Papini is saying through all that sobbing. You can see her with her hand in her uh, head in her hands and uh, staring down at the floor for much of this. This is a video from August of 2020. And although she is shown emotional there, at one point she says she's a horrible person. She did not retract her story during this interview process, which uh, was that she had been kidnapped by two Hispanic women and tortured in 2016 before she was found on the side of a freeway Thanksgiving morning in the community of Yolo. So she was ultimately arrested in March of this year on charges of making false statements and wire fraud. And as you mentioned at the top of the newscast, she was just sentenced yesterday to 18 months in prison. But pretty interesting look at the behind the scenes of that investigative process, guys. Yeah, shocking to see just how that all unfolded there. Thanks so much, Steve.